Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is finding the absolute max and the absolute min. So if you would, and it's a closed interval, the, uh, the equation, the function is x cubed minus 3x plus 2 on the closed interval from 0 to 4. It includes both the 0 and the 4. So if you would, pause the video and see if you can try this one on your own. All right, when you're looking for extrema, it, either a max or a min, you're always using the first derivative. And you wanna find the critical numbers first. The critical numbers are found by taking the derivative of this and taking the derivative and set it equal to zero or where it does not exist. You're gonna get extrema in both cases. So first, you take the derivative so the derivative of x cubed is, right, it's 3x squared. You're using the power rule, so you decrease this by 1, and then you bring this number to the front. Again, you're doing the same thing here. This is to the first, so you bring the 1 down here, so it's 3 times 1, which is just 3. And this is x to 0, which is just 1. This 2, it's a constant, so derivative of a constant is 0. So this is it. And so there's nothing in the denominator, so you don't have to worry about where it doesn't exist. You just have to worry about, okay, where it's equal to 0. So you factor this. So I would factor out 3. I get x squared minus 1 equals 0. This right here, x squared minus 1 is the difference of squares. So you can factor it this way. I'm going to keep the 3 here. It'll be x minus 1, x plus 1 equals 0. And so I'm going to get critical values and set these both equal to 0. So x equals positive 1 and a negative 1. Well, since I'm only dealing with this from 0 to 4, I can just cancel out, cross off, because I'm not going to use it, the negative 1. Then I have 1. So what I want to do next is build a table. Now, when it's a closed interval, you're going to get extrema, not only at the critical numbers, but also at the endpoints, so you have to look at both 0 and 4 in this case. And also 1. Now, the highest is going to be the max, right? The highest y is going to be the max. So I'm going to plug all these values in. Wherever the highest is, that's my max. The lowest is going to be my min. So I plug in 0. This cancels out, this cancels out, so it's just 2. When I plug in 1, for 1 to the third power, 1 cubed is 1. 3 times 1 is 3, so that's minus 3. Plus 2. 1 minus 3 is a negative 2. Plus 2 is 0. And then you plug in a 4, right? You plug in a 4. You know, if you have a calculator, use a calculator. 4 cubed is what? 64. So it's 64 minus 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2. So then I have 64 minus 12, that's 52, plus 2, that gives me a 54. So the highest would obviously be 54. So this is the absolute max. Now the lowest out of the three is zero. So zero is going to be my absolute min. Right? This point is my absolute minimum when x equals one and my absolute max is at x equals four and the point would be four comma 54. And that's it.